That was one hell of a trial, though. Holy shit. What do you mean, and welcome. My name is Yusha Anime, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Now, we all know what happened the last time. We found out it was actually Gundam, and I did actually look back, and it turns out I actually did say... <laughs> I actually predicted it would be Kazuichi or Gundam. Because it felt like, to me, with the case that was going on over there, that it could only between, be between those two because of the soundproof rooms and the fact that strawberry room was locked us so much led me to believe that it had to be one of the guys and when Kazuichi proved his innocence Gundam was the only one I could think of but holy shit that was way more different than I expected anyway moving on I'm about to find out what Nagito needs to tell us because he's been telling us the whole class trial so guys Ikemashuka we're near the end of this game now I think about it no no Dots. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still lingered deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Yeah, what did he mean by that? Ten. Oh, ten. <laughs> My eyes have already failed me. I read that as ten. Shit. Okay. Then, what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! Y'all spend so much time worrying about each other. All things and then things ended up like this. You're all full of shit. Every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. The worst. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Damn. Kane had a self-revelation on her. Oh, all. it's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we felt this way, we still gotta do our best. You are right. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. Kano will most likely call his way out of hell, and I presume he'll be very cross with us. She understood what he meant. Holy shit. You're right. You're right. God damn, Sonia. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that! Hey! hey. So how long are you gonna go, guys gonna stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's the key for you to hurry back over to Jumbo Arc Island. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Excuse me. The killing school trip will progress proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait! Uh, hold on! How, how much so longer are you gonna keep doing this? Seriously. How long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. Oh, I can't. <laughs> All right. After feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey. Oh, hold on a sec. The moon shift is too damn fast. It's not like that. You know, it's like Gundam and Nakamura said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Holy shit, Akane! Everyone's like tearing up. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back now and eat. And then after we're full, we'll sleep as much as we want. Right? And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. Holy shit. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group is definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was what Nagito had to say, right? Was him. He wasn't there. Nagito. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. Where are you, Nagito? Oh. Dots. Dots. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to attain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. 
<laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. Who is it, Nagito? Oh, he knows! He knows! Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a scary image, though. And before everyone else, too! But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell I, I was lying. There's no way that the file I just had Hajime's information. I knew he was lying about that. Oh, nice. He kept it to himself. Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. I've seen that picture before now. I think Manakuma has arrived! Manakuma has arrived! Who summoned me? No. Nagito, thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's the matter? Come on, up. Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see. So you can tell. Hmm? Ah, perhaps you found out who the traitor is? <laughs> you now, you know me well. Wow. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. Hmm, I see. See, even you don't know, huh? It looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Oh, 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 wait, what was that? Don't. Hello. So, why'd you summon me anyway? Are you finally going to confess your love? I love that little hello, that was funny. Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize for the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? <sighs> there was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? He said there was only 15 people, so why was there 16? There's a hidden student! There's another fucking hidden student! <laughs> Say what? What's weird? You don't well, even know? There's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Of course! That's right! I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. But... If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Ah... Oh. Who knows? <laughs> I wonder... Hey, could it be... <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into that file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Oh. Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well, that's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Ah. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting well, all you're riled up! Well, you're correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monami after losing her magic stick. The trainer's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, well, no. that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Sing. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation. You know, <gasps> what the fuck, Nagito? Holy shit! Huh? Cooperation? Hey, your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep, yep, yep. I. If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too, right? However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. <laughs> I see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no! Obviously, that's big no, no. Unbelievable. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Well, well, I know you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I would just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably would betray me later on. <laughs> This is I thought you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope, 
that shines brightly step ladders as much as myself in despair exists. <laughs> you're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Oh. Oh. I know who you're on about, Monokuma. You're, you're on about, um... Oh, 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 oh. Please say it's Nyagi. Please say it's Nyagi. Huh? Remind you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, man, they must be extremely, extremely unlucky. It's, it's Nyagi. Like... But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Wow. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know? Can you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. I, if I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a step ladder anymore. I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> the two of you are alike. He definitely remind me of him. He is like the polar reverse of Makoto. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> I can see what you guys are on about now. Hey, hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? See, who are you waiting for on this island? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Uh-oh. Hey. Well, answer my question. The... If that's... If that's the case, the person is already on this island. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> okay, so somebody else is on the island now. Oh, the timer. What's the time now? How many days are left? Five days left. Holy God. Five days. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? Oh my God, what's gonna happen? Do Ultimate Robots Dream of Clockwork end? Rest in peace, Nekomori. God fucking damn it. Seven people left. And a possible eighth. Damn right to be continued. God damn. I got a bit more than a bargain for- Oh, not- Oh, it's Gundam's earring. Hellhound earring. Oh, I, I'm so salty whenever I get something of her dead character. I'm so salty about- I'm salty about it a lot. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. Just like before our day began with all us gathering at the restaurant. Oh, there we go. You know. Shut up, computer. Thank you for updating my system. Every time you meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um, the restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. Stupid fool! Whoa! What the fuck was that? Stupid fool, get it together! Oh my! Huh? Did you hear something? Hey! It's Nakamaru! That was Coach Nakamaru's voice! Where was he? Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? <laughs> I'll beat you what up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that! <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool! I was up all night working my fingers to the bone! I am concerned! Oh, I am starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant! Jeez! Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was! And don't ignore me! I'm trying to talk to you about something important! Huh? Important? Alright! Oh my god, he made a mini Nekomaru! Oh my god, that's so cute! This, this, it took me all night to make it! My! Is that a Nekomaru doll? I'm no doll! I'm Mini Maru! Mini Maru! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Huh? M mini Maru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. Isn't it freaking adorable? Are 
you serious? Oh. oh. Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. Well. Huh? I never said I've been anything about giving it away. I'll beat you up. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Why is this communism? Whoa. 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 Hey, now. That's a bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. Let me just cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again... Engines ready! I guess we gotta fight too, right? We just can't... We can't just keep running away. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um... In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch out for me. Miss Sonia? Uh, Miss Sonia? What do you think of my little pep talk? Oh my! Oh, did you? Oh, come on! Oh, Katsuhichi! Oh, God! Oh, man. Katsuhichi, rest in peace, dude. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, Zuffle, I've memorized that speech! Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. <laughs> Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru! Man. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right! Oh, by the way, you can also use that massage your... your use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's amazing! Of course. Of course, I made it after all. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. That, is, that has just sprung her happiness way up. Mini Mari, that's so adorable. Oh, oh, that's so adorable. That kind of looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard. He's crossed the line, you know. Hey, hey! Then that's even more reason why we should avoid him. But still... But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Yep, Nagato's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime. Isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? That? Oh, about who I was. <laughs> you know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it. Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard. What did he mean by except for Hajime? Huh? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. To tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh... What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something that I could just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Host Peak Academy because I had talent all along. Shit! My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Host Peak Academy meant I'd finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. God damn, how'd you make pissed? <laughs> Jones. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. Doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Oh, Jackie, wife reports increasing. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there is a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. What? Hey. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god, Monobi. <laughs> Gosh, she destroyed the last Mono Beast then. Was here. It, it was a real close battle. I am sorry. I, I was trying to cheer, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Stuff is hard to say sometimes. We're just ignoring our bloody mono <laughs> uh, uh, That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in mud. Hmm? Uh, you saw me? 
Yes, that's right. The, the mother beast this time was very strong. Yeah? Rose, don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? Oh, thanks, dude. I mean, you like milk. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't we... Why don't you clean the blood up? We're trying to eat. <laughs> yes, I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, wipe. Ding, 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 ding. There we go, that end. Oh, well, we turn about you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last mana beast. <gasps> because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Ah, uh, I see. What a thing action. It's like I'm surrounded by dogs and shabby shabby you can eat fresh food. Um, don't tell me. Is it can? You're gonna say stuff like it's not like we can get out to Simon. Excuse me. My property going to the new island. Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Uh? Huh? So. Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my side. Because if we can't side. run, we'll fight. Well, that's true. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this crap with one blow. Hey, hey, fight? Seriously? That view some group is called won't end for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you. Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey! Damn it, so I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia! What? D don't brag about that! Settle down! Oh, oh, damn, okay. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. Alright! Now then, let's go forth. Offense is the best defense. Well, that does actually sound like what a leader would damn say. Damn right! You're, you're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. All right, I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. I'm starting to get pumped up. The future up. foundation, Monokuma Monami. I'll crush them all at once. That's me, <laughs> You guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Hmm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. Jackie. Okay. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking down toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling like a small bone was lodged in my throat. Oh, oh, oh god, that actually almost made me choke. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Oh, wow. Smile at hope in the name of despair. That is one hell of a picture. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry for my language, but god damn. With the monomy gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. What? So this is the last island. What the fuck? Enormous buildings towered everywhere as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi. Zodi Island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Oh, you're not wrong there. Jesus Christ. What the f What the hell is this? This kind of reminds me of Last Station in a way. Oh my god, that's creepy, but it's cool, but it's creepy, but it's cool. Why though? Chinatown? Is it? Oh wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Sorry, I, I, it's the lanterns that would make me think that. Oh, Monokuma. Come on, Monokuma. I'm gonna grab you first of all things. No. Oh wow, okay, that's different. 541 monocoins I've got. I'm a rich son of a bitch. So, Fihiko, found anything here? <laughs> I was wondering who, who was lured here by the smell. I expected the Akane, though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway. Looks like the street is full of food vendors. But as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally, street artists would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. That is... That, I actually feel really unsettled now. Such a pretty creepy. Yeah, exactly. It's creepy to think about. Where there's supposed to be a lot of people around, it's really creepy that there's none. It's like an instinct. Yeah, there's that, that. That's all that's here. Literally just that. Oh my 
god, this is bizarre. This is so bizarre. I am actually really freaked out. What the hell is this, most of? Oh my god, a factory. Oh my goodness. It's a plushie factory? Oh, oh check, is it? White smoke is spinner in from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? If it's got Monokuma's face in it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Well, you're not wrong. Hajime! Oh, Hajime, good timing. What's up, Jackie? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I finally look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Hmm... Uh... Wife reports. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Oh. Down here first. You. Hey, Hajime, you're that kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? How could you tell? Well, I like to I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. Guess you're right. Okay. But why? All right. Then I'm going inside. Plushy factory inside. Oh my god, that was a lot of monokumas. There's got to be a collectible here. What the heck is this? It's being manufactured one after another and carried away on a conveyor belt. Was Monokuma? Oh yeah, look, there's one up there. Come here. I knew there'd be one here. Uh, I've been found. Yes, you have, Monokuma. This is so creepy. I don't like this. Oh my god. The monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after another. They better not be real. Picked one up with my hand. See, so these are plushies. Um, monokuma plushies. Ah, the real monokuma is the sort of like a plushie too. But unlike you, these are probably actual plushies. Haram, <laughs> isn't it the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Uh, life size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the, the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. Hmm. You made way too many. You're gonna be all stuck when it's all said and done. What a come this life size plushie. Dudes. I don't want it. I want a plushie. Look at this. It's crazy. Why does it look like Minecraft blocks in the corner? The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. Coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. But you're not wrong. Hmm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing nice type monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just for life size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot of my monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door! Oh. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But still. Oh, I need to some kind of important clue. What are you gonna do? You're right. Then, we should go there for just a little while. This is so weird. Why, though? Why? I have so many questions. This is like steampunk now. Then again, Danganronpa is kind of steampunk itself, isn't it? Good warehouse. There's a monokuma somewhere. I can feel it. Just. Well, I'm thinking I peeked into the par pile of st stacked up cardboard boxes. Oh, there's a monokuma calendar, a monokuma sandbag, and even a monokuma guitar. Oh, that would actually be pretty cool. First, there was a monokuma archive and a funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? He's selling these. <laughs> mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. <laughs> In other words, it has no ease of existing. Started to talk even crazier. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to see if there's a monocule. Oh, no. Oh. Actually, how's my pet doing? Uh, I'll let this one despair. So I heard there's apparently different types. Tons of CDs. All just stacked up stuff. There's a bunch of CDs. Mm. I thought these were going to be video games, but they're just music CDs. The jacket says Monokuma's collection is of songs and ballads. 
Is he planning to release an album? Hmm. Character songs are out of range these days, but I'm not all that interested in derivative works like that. I never heard of, Ma of Mascot selling his own character songs. No, neither have I. Um. Pretty incredible. Plus, it looks like he's already produced his uh, 100th song. See, the 100th track is a festive psychopop dance rap that he performs with his all might, with all his might. I don't even know where to begin. How the heck did he manage to make 100 songs? What the panel is for? This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using it to decorate the stars that sound like merch and make them look all boom! Then they'd stand out, you know. Who still would sell your stuff? You're of so course not! Stupid. You're such a fool! That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop! I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world! Of course, the main attraction will be my last size Monokuma plushie. Who really you fought that far into the future when you made these? The business is doomed to fail. Hey! Enough you already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No! Hey, no! Hey, don't say that! Let's try press together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s. Pogs? Hey, hey! Um, don't you remember how long they'll stay popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you're already committed a major mistake. I won't forgive because it's you! Because much of me! Oh my god. Come on, I need a drink. Because <sighs> there's a merch of me! My little oh, sister! Monomy. My little sister! Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Hmm? Not a tortoise! Hey! Um... No, a long, long time ago. There were these two old guys. Hey! Two old guys living together? Shing! The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Oh! Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words... So, even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> I have to be so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You stupid brother! You did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense! Well, it's not wrong. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know somebody who would love this. Oh my god. Hurrah! What a hopeless way of snapping back. That's a fucking JoJo reference. <laughs> but honestly, I can't. I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special bleeding so, when service! So, wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here! Come on, what are you waiting for? <gasps> That's me, this one. You're right. What? I didn't even search everything yet. We ran out of the warehouse, now already avoid Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. So, I can't go back in there now? It's like, you just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I want to have a look at everything else, thank you. So, random goods. There are a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. There are various goods inside them. There are even household appliances, musical instruments. What do you use packaging goods before they're shipped? Looks like they're waiting to be shipped, but I don't think these are ever going to leave the island. You're probably right. Let's see if I can spot a Monokuma. Nope. Okay, that's it. So I did actually near enough almost see everything. Okay. So that's everything here then. Isn't it? Yeah, that's everything. Outside. That factory thing is amazing but creepy at the same time. Holy shit. So what's this then? Is this a power? What? That's a tank! Jabberwock? A military base? Hold up! Ultimate soldier? No. 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 Thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? There's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. That's the plane, isn't it, that um, that was responsible for getting terror, wasn't it? Akane and Sonya are here. Wow, though. 
this, this is crazy. Ah, uh, Monokuma. Come here. I knew you could do it. Yeah, you can hide very well on that one, could you? Alright, trucks. Is this a military truck? I like the airplane at the first time, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. I don't even know how to drive. Besides, it's not like I can escape the island by driving off of it. It's true. That's another truck. Let's have I get a cargo box. Firearms, and there's a ton of them! There's a lot of different weapons like guns and anti-tank rocket. Oh my god. Carelessly stacked in here. Is it really alright to handle these carelessly? No! Is usually the answer. So, uh, this, this is insane. The, this, this is insane. This, this is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? Well, that's a good question. Can a tank move? It should do. The, this helicopter. It was. Is this a helicopter Monokuma used to execute Terry Teru? This helicopter... Don't screw with me! Oh. Um... Hi, Jimmy, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. can help punching it, but... I just end up hurting my fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. What's that over there? Why wouldn't it let me see what that is over there? That's clearly a rocket launcher. Like, a missile launcher, sorry. Look at that, that's not even the monitor. I'm nowhere near the monitor on that one. Okay. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Ouch. Obviously. A real man fights with his fists. Huh. That goes for women, too. Alright! You wanna battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boot pill of... No thanks. Blue pillows? That doesn't sound like it doesn't sound that bad though. Um, this appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. Alright! This might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd have to be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Oh really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank, no problemo. No problemo? Um... A course in modern warfare is a, is a required class in all our grade schools. Obsession with anime, now this. So this country never ceases to baffle me. However... You're not wrong. However, these weapons... These are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. Wait, well, you're not wrong there. You're right. Unfortunately, the stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait! No, that is wrong! Huh? Um... Oh, well, I haven't discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator seat. That's the future... Future Foundation's insignia! Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Monokuma and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I didn't know how much we can trust him. Do you think it could be a useful clue? It could. Anything can be. Anything can be a useful clue. Well, Monokuma probably did it. Did leave it, like you said. It's hard to know how much we could trust it. So what does it say? Um... Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan to consider at considerable length. That's what the bomb is! That's what the bomb is! Oh, that's the counter! Oh, shit! What is that plan? To place Jabberwockan under the Future Foundation's control and prepare to assist Central Headquarters. Huh? A central Headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um... In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. This travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt. So the island was in uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Oh. oh. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time. If that's true, the here has been way too attentive. 
items at the supermarket already stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. The f could that the future foundation's responsibility? The English in that sentence. Wow. More importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um, I can't discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well? However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There was more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Oh yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. Um... It was written that there that the Central Island House is a large administrative building. How, however, we could find out that building, find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? That's Hope's Peak, isn't it? However... But according to this plan, the building of the Future Foundation is planned to use for their headquarters. Could it be that same building? Um... They are planning to rebuild it and use the Future Foundation's headquarters. Or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! What the hell is going on? Perhaps... My head hurts, Jesus. We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. That is the mystery of this island. What's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. How much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Nagito knows something. I still find this island creepy. I, I find it really, really unsettling. The fact that it's called Last Island doesn't help either. Oh wow, what is this? Huh? Sea King Industry? What? What? Excuse me, uh, what the? Oh my god. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It was very sci fi. Kazuichi. Mm. Sea King Industries. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees. They're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. This place looks like a research facility. They're a mid-sized company? This is a pretty nice facility. Ah, uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts. So just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. Looks like it might be a good idea to finally investigate this place. First off, there's the machine down there which looks like a mono beast. Is this a machine? It's making another machine? This product looks like it's a modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey, hey. doesn't an animal, animal looking machine remind you of anything? You're talking about the mono beasts? Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? Mono beasts created here? Fine, fine. That's what this place is for. Hey! Oh, hey. there's a monokuma over there. No matter how much you insist, it's a game. People won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye bye. That's why it's just fine. There's something well, wrong. What the with hell you. do you mean by that? It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, cause I'll love be, cause I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Green Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this. And I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There's a Monokuma. Huh? Are you serious? So that means there's only one left. What the fuck is that? That's a person. What the fuck? It's making a person. The actual hell. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey! Just how far your technology affairs without me knowing! Do you think Nekamaru was made here? That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I, I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation too? Obviously. It's here. It has to be. This is crazy. 
Palpatine. Mm -hmm. It's only just talking to Kazuichi. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Huh? Why? Why? Because you're start, starting to laugh and all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey! Oh, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> She's... She's probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story, I, I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So, it was written in the email anyway. Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Oh no. Oh no. Kazuichi. Everyone's gonna have a harsh awakening. And these riots are caused by high school students. Wait, what? I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just kept keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. But as the riots start getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after another, hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world. As the end of the world gets closer and closer, end of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of a song title. Hey! Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. That's a witchy. No! I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I never believe it for a second. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Jokes. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say it's just a made up story? <laughs> of course. I mean,. I realistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not! There's no way this is real! This is more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it! Ah, I see what you did there. You're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm just getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something gets so unbelievable it could actually happen. <laughs> well, anyway, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Ah. This used to be this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this to shock, just to shock us. That's the reason. That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Huh? They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hold on. Now that, that I said that out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. Well, something that would happen in a work of fiction. It's probably true, though. But the boy actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Alright, that's it for this area, then. Holy God. Yo! Hey, Anjumi, I was looking for you. What's up for you? <coughs> What's up for you, Hiko? Well, I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think I explored everywhere at least once for now. Damn right! Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. There's a street nearby line with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. To let me know if he left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? He is really damn reliable. Now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street where the food stands. Let's go! Hold on. I love doing that. I love doing that, I'm sorry. Huh. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? huh? What about Nagito? Huh? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I didn't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm... Not really. 
Like, I feel I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not good which information we found is believable, if any. However... However, I believe there's no question that the future foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? Well, what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they are our ally, there's no way they'd trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey! Might be worse for the future foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. Even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then, it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally? So wait, Monami's on our side, but actu like, actually on our side? Because she opposes she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even if they are both opposed to one another, it's not. Is it not possible that they are both our enemy? I'm starting to get like a three-way battle. That's kind of hard. Hey, hey, why? After all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking to, like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it! Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled! No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down! Kazuichi soldier, shut up! Whoa! <laughs> yes! Listen! There's n there was never a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh, my. Lied? Well? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we could be suspicious of each other. You went to How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have enjoyed together? Sonia, god damn! Ooh, sounds like something a traitor would say. <sighs> Weak, how weak. He's here. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. This is hopeless. The Nagito? He's here. Come on, Nagito. Tell us what you want. What you need to tell us. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, I'll get yelled at by the weakling who dropped out. That is... Well, what is it? Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, you... Who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island beside us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. <gasps> Holy shit! So who would that be? So was it just Biakia on this island? Who was on this island then? Does that mean that's Monami? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Wait, how? Huh? Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? You talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. You. What stage? You're not making any sense at all. It's not making sense. <laughs> Nakamaru. Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That did actually come across as strange for me, I'm not gonna that lie. Is order. The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Bisonia. Well? They've been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we, we have been witness to. Huh. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is trouble. Oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well, knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it wouldn't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. <laughs> I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs me my life! What? You going to wait out the traitor? Please wait! As I have already said, there is no traitor! Sonia, I don't believe you for one second. <laughs> I'll bet in the very end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. 
But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, I will I? This is exciting! Overcome the ultimate hope! Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now then. I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, that's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Oh, fuck. He's making himself the target. Oh. <laughs> oh. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? I can tell. What does that mean? Bye now. Bye. Holy shit, everything's getting real. Nagato ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We we're powerless to stop him. It was clear it was to clear us. I was to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless, yeah. Hey, hey! I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning to kill? Are you kidding me? Kill? Who? Who's it gonna kill? Damn it! Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Please wait! There's no such person! I mean, the notion of one of us has been saving us all alone. I would never ever believe that. Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's... But what if it's Nagito? Or if whoever has forgotten about it... What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Ah. Well, regardless of who he's targeting... There's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? That's right! Then we gotta tie him up again! Force him to stop is the only way! Oh... It's impossible. Nakamura's not even here anymore. I'll show you my serious I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too! <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Let's not come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Turn that Nagita. Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. What is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? Someone's on their way, I hope. It just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our explanation of the final island and return to the hotel. Jesus Christ. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Hooey! This has been a journey and a half as it is. Yeah, I'm on this side, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. Jesus. God. This is gonna get big. Very soon. God damn. For some reason... For some reason, I'm really tired today. Since I walked around all day, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even... Call these clues. Yes, you can. Instead... I feel like we're just suffering from more mysterious mysteries that don't make sense. Jules, this isn't good. As soon as night time hits, I can't stop thinking of all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. Oh yeah, my doors are locked. I don't have a lock anymore. I should just get some sleep for today. Rest my mind for a while. And then, I'll get this some more thought tomorrow. And it's Monica with Theatre. Actually, words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a bank space. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park, at the time there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named called Cha Cha Jr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tries to have a serious talk with him, he can just stare at her bills for the whole time. That's why Dr. Dietrich would order him to steal pennies. And then he would get real happy when he exchanged the pennies he stole with Dietrich's old enemies. Also, this one time, the three of us went to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, How do you like to cook? Excuse me. Chachi Jr. proudly said, We're fire! Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Chacha Jr. He made Chacha Jr. abducted Vaughn and drowned it. Then he said to drown him for himself. 
and he made Judge Adrena tell everyone about it. Man, he really does some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living in the life of the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. Actually said this to Judge Adrena. Foxes are squirrels, natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left to Dietrich Senior. Oh, Senior. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could put down Judge Junior with a hunting rifle. Even now I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? These squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. Yeah, they do actually. Bing! Bong! Good yeah, it's the morning then. announcement. I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. But now I should over head over to the restaurant. Right, I'm going to head over to the restaurant, then I'm going to end the video. That's the last thing I'm doing for this part. Because, by God, there's so much that's, got, that's happened. It's unbelievable. I, I can't even... I mean, what just happened now as well, that was... Pretty incredible, actually. Pretty damn incredible. So that means somebody else from the previous game is here. It couldn't be Hagakure. Definitely not. So Miney thought it could be Kyoko, or it can be Makoto. Those are the only two I could think that would be there. Like... Oh, man. Chiaki Nanami. You asleep? Hey, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. <laughs> Tell me you're not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game? Mm. It's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Um, last night I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night. So maybe that's why. Huh? A weird dream? Well, it was... I'm on a common puzzle game. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make fallen and monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Like Tetris? Mm. No matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it. And the monokuma just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It was probably because we saw that factory where those monokuma goods were made. Maybe. That could be it, but I doubt that's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I had a cover of uh, Beautiful Dead on on from the first Danganronpa. Somebody called Family's Jewels made probably the best cover I'd ever heard of a Danganronpa OST. He done Beautiful Dead as a as a, a metal cover, and he done amazing. So Family Jewels, fucking brilliant, mate. I actually um, bought the song as well. Yeah, I had to be. Check it out. I'm already eaten. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like the Funhouse again. So I gotta eat when I can. Eat well! Eat well! Shit well! <laughs> it's an original quote. Eat well, shit well. For now. Okay, now that we finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Um, hey, I'm um, still eating here. I just got here. I haven't even had a chance to eat anything yet. Poor Hajime. It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... You know, right? And of course, the main topic is about... I plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be! Uh, are you really going to do it? Of course, I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, bastard! We get it! Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already! Hmm... I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straight forward plan would be best. Uh, One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Alright! So that's the plan, what do you think? Um, it's easy to understand, so cool. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You... So now, I'll present each of you with your role. Of course! This is my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. A commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Hey, did I just say I won't let anyone object? Right. 
Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to Fuihiko and Akane. Um, yeah, but sure um, thing. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh, no choice. You know, right? The person burdened with a core of this plan, the decoy who, was to, who has to learn actor, is gonna be me. I get that role to Chiaki Nanami. What? No way. Huh? No way. Ah! Well, what did you say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey! It's gonna be fine, right? It's not like you're gonna tie him up, you're just gonna lure him. Well... Besides, there's no way I'd ask me Sonya to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey! Why don't we wait to ask for help? If Mahiro was here, she would've beaten you up. You... You did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey! And I didn't say I'm begging you! Why are you slapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Oh. Fine. Alright! You're gonna do it? Alright! Then this lineup is perfect! Hey, Sonya and I haven't even been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of the princess. Does it make any sense? For now. You're on chore duty. I would need to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Bow down! Denied! Whoa! Whoa, why? Listen! If Hachimi has nothing to do anyway, you shall accompany me! Miss Sonia? No. Like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not! This is not a request, this is an order! That is an order! An order, I tell you! There is somewhere I must go! Uh. <laughs> fine! If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine! I'll leave that Good. matter to you. Repeat that! Damn it! If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine! It's too check so forcefully. Would you need to go, Sonia? Um. I should tell you in due time. It will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you You're say? You're gonna be alone with Hajime? At, at the secret place? For now. Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you free your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. It's all dispersed for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting, after our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made back to my cottage, I was really close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. But why does she want to speak to me so suddenly? Why? Why? I'm so confused. Carnage, right? I'll, just, I'll speak to a carne quick. Um, I pretty wish to eat food by the pool. Still eating. Well, I don't blame her after what happened. I would too. Monami, what the hell are you doing here? I won't forget okay. you. You took chicken and lattice plan. Uh, uh, shut the hell up, you useless rabbit. You can't. No, I won't be quiet. I cannot accept this plan. Hey, what happened? Man. Oh, that Monami bastard appear apparently heard our about her plan. I won't forget okay, you. Your teacher can allow this plan. Shut up! Shut up! Monami is actually the other student then. It's not like we want to do this, but we're doing it because Nakito's dangerous. That's right. He's planning to kill someone. It's just self-defense. I. But I still can't ignore him. I just can't allow my students to find among themselves. Love, love. <laughs> Ah, shut the hell up, you useless rabbit! So like they're talking in circles. Might be better if I leave them alone. Yeah, just leave them. If they keep shouting like that, I'm pretty sure Nagito might overhear them. You got a point there. Let's go. So, why? Sony, you better answer me some questions right now. Uh, no, I didn't click on that. Hajime, you were late. Huh? I'm running on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. Holy God! For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is. Oh, I see. This is culture shock. I guess I can be overlooked. That could be overlooked, sorry. So, where do you plan to go? I must have to come along. I just had to come along, right? Well? Of course. It's a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Oh, she only told me about it. 
Chapawak Island development plan? Did you find something out about it? Um, how should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I just suddenly realized the Future Foundation has planned to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. I'm talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? Do you have a minute? Or what if their plan suddenly changed then they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well? Was there another facility on this island inscribed with the symbols Future Foundation? Yes. Um... As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a symbol on this story. Yes, it did. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However... The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that there, that ruin is quite suspicious. I've completely forgotten about it after being locked inside the funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to future foundations can be incredibly high. It was high from the beginning! I knew there was something strange about that place. So Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then I may not be competent. I may not be con competent, so please be patient with me. Okay, well, we're off then. Holy God! All right, I'm po I'm postponing the cancellation of this recording for a minute. Die by me, Kasuichi. I'm just taking your girl. Shaggy, you alright? Hey, hey. Hey, what exactly does Kasuichi do as a commander? How should I know? Well, in games, commanders usually are usually flags. Flags? Um. If you defeat the commander, no matter how many of their units are left, you still secure a victory. Even damaging the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's morale. As far as plans go, it's pretty standard to distract. I'll leave that I'm matter to that your discretion. Wonderful, that plan of approval. Continue to target the commander. You're totally mistaken to who to fight. What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? That is... You're right. What a shame. She really hates Kazuichi. Good God, shame? Kazuichi heard that his rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet to the negatives. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. I felt sorry for him ever since the beginning when he tried. God damn! That actually hurts. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Let's go. I still have too many questions though. Like, oh, I don't know how to put it into words. Who's with us? I see. At the ancient and second the word Mirai or future was inscribed on the door. The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. Hope's Peak Academy. There's no doubt it's Hope's Peak. Uh, no matter how many times I see this place, it simply gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. By the way, I'm not making a joke on that one. That was too easy. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. Alright, let's start. Jesus Christ. Now I'm taking a closer look at it. The door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high tech. Future, huh? The stick of crystal display next to the door. That's probably it. It's probably the key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait. Yeah, discuss this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it's possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That's right. Courage, courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot by a gun like that, you would... Yeah, you would have more holes than into than Beatrice's nest. Oh wow. You mean a bee's nest? How did she manage to say Beatrice's? Yeah, you are In wrong. my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see. I In order see. to open the door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Tank! That's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. 
definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, all we have to do is find out what the password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You're right. The problem is, where would we obtain the password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monoi said they didn't know the password. They really didn't know it. How are we supposed to find out? Tells. She sure it's a mystery, huh? Damn. After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. We just gave up like that? Really? Still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Okay, I'm going to end it here now. No, no, what should I do? That is it from me, guys. I am going to end this part here. Goodness me. Too much is going on. I'm, I'm actually struggling to keep up. Good God. I don't, I, I don't know what to expect. So somebody else from the surviving students is on the island. And if that's the case, they've got to be in the ancient ruins. Because Monokuma and Monami don't know the password. They don't. So what's that leave? Somebody's in there that they don't know about. And they were waiting for them last night. Uh, I'm going to go sit down for a minute after this. Good goodness me. So, all I can say now is thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I'll see you in the next video. So much out, guys. I'll most certainly see you next time. Wow, my head hurts. But Minimaru, yes! <laughs>